What's going on everybody? My name is obviously Grim, and today we're going to be talking about four things you must do before you leave Haven. So let's go ahead and get into it. So you're ready to leave Haven. That's great, but there's going to be a few things you want to check off your list before you leave. The first two things are going to be clade points and combat skills. I honestly don't even bother crafting at all in Haven since I find leveling crafting is easier done with a horse and bag gathering the materials in mainland. If you take the time you have in Haven to level your combat skills up, you will have the ability to defend yourself when you're collecting materials to level up crap. You're also going to want to get at least 5 to 7 clade gifts before you leave. The reason I say 5 to 7 is because that's the amount you're going to need to be effective when you go to mainland. And on top of that, each clade gift you get can give you skill points or give you abilities like a boost to speed, damage, or reduce incoming damage. They're essentially power-ups for your specific race. So you're going to want to get a good amount of them before you leave Haven. Next up we're going to talk about attribute points. It's important to raise your attributes up to where you need them to be for your character because they save you on skill points. For instance if you take a look at the top right of your screen here, you will see an affected skill level, a skill train to level, and below that you're going to see the points that are added by your strength, dex, constitution, psych, or intelligence depending on what skill you're looking at. Your effective skill level is going to be the combination of your skill train to, plus however many points are added by the attributes. So if you want to be good with the sword and shield, max out your strength, not your intelligence. So to sum this section up, both your combat skills and clade are going to be easier gotten here in Haven rather than on mainland. Haven is safe and has the resources you need to level up combat and clade easily without the fear of being ganked around every corner. On top of that, while you're leveling your clade and combat skills, you'll be learning the combat system mechanics. Doing this will give you the tools you need to protect yourself while you're adventuring on mainland. The last thing I want to talk to you all about is figuring out what city you want to start off in. Not only does each city provide different resources, but this will also let you know what you should bring with you to give yourself a head start when you get there. Also, a small side note, once you add items to the transporter, you cannot change the city, so you're going to want to make sure you choose the city you want to go to before you add the items. One big thing to remember here is you can only bring 3 gold or 3 gold worth of items out of Haven with you. This doesn't count the armor you're wearing, the weapon you're carrying, soulbound items, or the book you're reading. The reason the items you choose to bring with you are important is the resources around the city that you are going to. As I stated before, each city has different resources around it, and the player trade market is going to reflect that in the pricing of its resources. If an item is easier to get in that area, it is going to be cheaper on the market. For instance, it's not going to be smart for me to bring vegetables to Fervernum since they have a garden right there in the city, so you can get them for free. But, let's say I choose to go to Vada or Bhakti. Neither of those places have gardens, so the vegetables are going to be scarce in those locations. So if you bring a stack of veggies with you there, you can sell them on the market for double what they are worth. Here you see stacks of 1,000 white cobble being sold for 2 gold and 10 cents in Bhakti. Location does matter. If they don't have it in this location, people are going to buy it because they do not want to travel. Well that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below if you do your Haven runs differently. I hope all you happy little souls have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one.